Okay, for this episode of Caliber War, we're going to talk about a cartridge that went away for a while and came back. And that's the 375 Weatherby Magnum. What this is, is that like, uh, a lot of y'all, if you're big time gun people, you're familiar with the Ackley improvements. Um, this is the Weatherby improvements to a cartridge. Think of this as Weatherby's version of an Ackley improvement to the 375 Holland Holland. You've already got the belted case, right? But uh, this is gives you the double radius shoulder, okay, that Weatherby is known for. And the cartridge is blown out. Like this is basically a soup a Weatherby version of a souped up 375 Holland Holland. Uh, it was developed in 1944, entered production in 1945, and it's uh discontinued in 1960. All right, uh, but 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 it came back in 2001. All right, out due to request. So obviously, someone likes it. This you could absolutely use for a dangerous game cartridge because it's essentially just a slight step up from a 375 Holland Holland without all the recoil of a 378 Weatherby Magnum, uh, which was the intent when it was reintroduced. Um, you can you can get ammunition for it now, but for 41 years, if you have one, you were kind of SOL. So if you want to hand load it, I'm certain you can make some work with that. You're looking at a 9.5 millimeter bullet, 0 0.375, uh, out of a 72.6 millimeter long belted case. Again, whether it be double radius shoulder. Bullet weights, uh, I'm seeing three offhand, a 235, a 270, and a 300. 235 grain bullet, you're looking at 31, 35 feet per second out the muzzle with 51, 25 pound feet of energy. Your 300 grain bullet at 2,800. Um, with 52, 23 pound feet of energy, and your 270 grain bullet at 2940 with uh, 5181 pound feet of energy. So, uh, as you can see, yeah, it's a little bit hotter, not not too much, but a little bit hotter than a 375 Holland Hawk. Um, definitely one you could take to Africa. Okay, um, it's 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 pretty stout. So the velocity gain. You look. It's it's going to be about 240 feet per second, faster than your 375 Holland and Holland. A little bit flatter, but I mean not not overly much, but a little bit flatter shooting, a little bit hotter. All right, uh, it's it, it's quite hot, and you're getting quite a bit of energy. Energy you're slightly exceeding the 360, uh, 375 Remington Ultra Mag, the 458 Winchester Mag, or even the 416 Rigby. Uh, when it comes to energy. So this is definitely no slouch and just one to look at if you want a hot 375.